What's going on guys, Tutorial 6 here, back for another third party review, and today we're taking a look at the iGear MGT-06. Uh, this is Nightbird. Uh, I got this sent to me by my buddy Oscar. He actually needed some repairs on her, and uh, so I figured I'd throw on a quick review. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have every piece that goes with her. Um, she does come with a variety of pieces, including some little Chinese stars, uh, a stand, because she's got these magnets here um, to hold her up. Uh, she comes with a grappling hook and then the size and the size are like 24 karat gold plated um, And they have a little recess here, but everything I've seen shows that they don't actually fit on her arms and you have to rubber band them on so That's kind of a disappointing joke So let's take a look at this. This is uh, a $70 toy from iGear a company. We don't really hear very much from anymore um it's a nice action figure, it's just not $70. The only accessories I have for her today are the uh, nunchucks. Actually, here's a picture real quick of uh, Nightbird with all her accessories here. So you can see she has quite a bit more going on. Let's talk about what this figure itself actually does. So, on here, right at her hips, this opens up, and I assume that's where you put the throwing star. Unfortunately, because there's such a small little plastic connection between this purple piece and her chest, uh, that's actually what snapped for my friend Oscar. And uh, as you can see, I had to do some repair work, so nothing's really going to fit in there anymore. But uh, whatever, it's kind of a small, inconsequential space anyway. So, Toy has pretty decent articulation. Um, you can't get a full 360 on the head, but you get reasonable motion out of it. The shoulders have this hinge joint here, a swivel right here. Uh, it looks like a ratchet sort of on the actual uh, shoulder I guess here. It doesn't feel like it's a ratchet but it's shaped as such. Uh, I don't think there is anything there. Upper bicep swivel. You do have a double jointed elbow for a fairly good range of motion. Uh, though it does look a little bit awkward under certain angles. But it's not bad. The wrist here is on a swivel. You can see that the uh, four fingers are combined into one pin here. And then you do have a swivel here. So very nice. Coming down here you saw the repair up here. The waist down here. Once again, looks like ratchets but nothing actually leading me to think that. But you get pretty good range of motion out of it. Uh, double jointed knee down here so pretty capable of you know giving someone a knee to the face the ankle swivel uh, an actual rotation there and then the crazy 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 <laughs> toe articulation so very much a good action figure um, yeah just to me not a $70 figure so let's Let's bring out the uh, Impossible Toys one, which this one was questionable at its like $20 price point or whatever that I paid for it. Um, definitely, this is not nearly as fragile feeling as this is. Um, just everything feels like it wants to break here. Uh, though I do like the silver paint treatment this got over the gray here, but I suppose this is kind of more cartoon accurate. Speaking of cartoon accuracy, we also have the ability to remove the chest here and you can see inside there we've got those details from the episode where she got worked on uh... nunchucks do come off the back and they do have an actual metal chain on there you can rotate this thing around to kinda place them various places and uh... the last real thing to talk about is you got these pistons here and this is pretty cool that when you compress them on in you do get a little rocket pack out of there and that's pretty neat. Um, I think that's a cool little piece of functionality they added into the toy that they really didn't have to. So overall, I find myself really liking this. At first I saw her and I felt she was kind of bulky. Um, the backpack does make her feel a little bit thick. But overall, she's a good toy. Um, here she is. Let's see. We'll put Orion here. And you can see her next to Orion. So I think that's a pretty good size if you want her on a classic shelf. Um, I like it. I think it's good. I just think that it's 
30 to 40 dollars good more than it's 60 and I think it's probably at the cost of those 24 karat gold uh, plated size that I really don't know why they did that um, that just seems like an impeccable waste of money to me so yeah uh, this is the MGT 06 by iGear once again where have they been we haven't really seen anything from them lately but uh, yeah this is T2RX6 I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I'll see you next time